Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a custom slider. Now uh, how many of you actually think that the slider that's been provided by Adobe Flash is kind of uh, very simple, very very plain, uh, nothing dramatic about it. So what I did uh, uh, using ActionScript and uh, manipulating the slider a little bit, uh, slider is the slider component is actually a movie clip. So, uh, physically manually altering uh, the structure a little bit I, I turned it into uh, something really beautiful let me show you what I mean by hitting control enter on the keyboard <coughs> excuse me okay now people have a look uh, if you've already seen the custom slider that flash gives you isn't this uh, a lot of improvement over it okay and the moment you press the thumb okay you can see that it changes uh, in terms of 3D, it, it plays a sound as well, right? And then you can slide it left to right. And then you release the button or the thumb. You can say it, uh, see it change once again. All right, people. Okay, so this kind of a bevel effect uh, and uh, the click sound on a press and on a release uh, was accomplished uh, in a manner to please you okay so um, in this uh, first part of this tutorial I'm gonna confine myself only to uh, the action script okay uh, but let me just show you something if I pull out the slider component uh, from the library onto the stage and uh, let's say double click to be in the edit mode you can actually see people that uh, the uh, the real thumb is something that I would replace with my own uh, movie clip. It's not a very difficult process. Not only that, the stick that you see uh, had a grayish color which I've turned to uh, a blackish color and I've shifted the tick five pixels upwards. So people what I did was I, I replaced the thumb up, the thumb over and the thumb down with my own movie clip replacing uh, the one that flash gives you right so uh, in the next part uh, I'll, I'll be showing you how I drew it out and how did I actually replace it but for part number one of the slider component uh, skinning I'm, I'm just gonna confine myself to the action script okay uh, people before you can actually script uh, it out let me tell you something that you need to pull out the slider component and drop it inside the library before you can actually code it out cool let's open up the actions panel and uh, uh, look at uh, the script okay though it, it is a little lengthy this is not at all difficult people trust me on that it's sim very very simple okay uh, these are certain import directives that uh, will get auto generated uh, as you write the code but this line may not so you just need to write it out manually right uh, in line number five I've created a variable B uh, data typing into a bevel filter and making it equal to a new bevel filter uh, making my intentions clear that I'll be using uh, the 3d bevel okay so creating a new instance of the bevel filter and storing it inside uh, the variable B right uh, I'm creating yet another variable s data typing it to slider and making it uh, making it equal to a new slider uh, so so I'm telling you that I'm gonna um, use the um, or push the slider component onto the stage but only through action script okay then what I've done is uh, uh, I've, I'm moving the slider component uh, s to uh, with the, the move method and these are the coordinates uh, 150 then I'm uh, using the set size method and setting the size of the slider component to 300 uh, which is the width 10 is the height okay I'm also declaring that the maximum value for the slider component should be between 0 and 100 okay not exceeding 100 min should be 0 the tick interval okay should be at every um, 5 pixels okay and then I'm using the add child method so the uh, slider component is pushed onto the stage at coordinates uh, x 100 y 50 and people the um, stage size is 500 by 110 so these uh, coordinates will make sure that it's centered up 
right okay now uh, this is interesting s dot get child at one now what's uh, s s is the slider component what's get child at one so inside the movie clip s or the slider component the get child at one is uh, get child at one is nothing but the sum that we drag it has a depth of one so people who are actually aware of the uh, or the concept of the this playlist will uh, not have any difficulty understanding what is the meaning of get child at one so the uh, you know the movie clip uh, which is placed at uh, index number one is actually nothing but the the thumb the width of which i'm i'm changing to 30 the height of which i'm changing to 12. not only that i'm pushing it upwards by four pixels okay and then i'm saying get child at zero now zero is the groove in which the thumb actually drags okay the height of which i'm increasing to a six uh the default is a uh, lot lesser cool um i really don't need this okay uh next people what i've done is i've added event listeners to these uh slider and uh, the types being uh, thumb press so when uh, somebody presses the uh, thumb i would want a function called run to be executed and uh, what it does is it plays an external sound now this is how you play an external sound i wouldn't want to go into the details of how you play an external sound but a sound called um, clicked or mp3 is placed next to the next to the flower five people okay so it's, it's able to uh, through the uh, new url request method able to uh, point to this file and then through the play method play it right uh, b is the variable holding the bevel filter i'm changing the distance of uh, it to a 10. when i actually uh, made the uh, uh, sum that we are dragging I, I used a bevel on it the bevel effect and i made the distance uh, 5 which is the default actually right so i increase it to 10 so i'm increasing the 3d effect when somebody actually presses the thumb right and then through the filters property i'm making it equal to 10. so uh, basically applying the um the filter onto uh, the thumb so get challenge one is nothing but the thumb okay and again i'm changing the width of the thumb to a 20 from a 30 so i'm basically decreasing it just adding a, a you know a subtle effect a rather a dramatic effect right and then i'm adding yet another event listener to the uh, slider this time of the type uh, thumb release so when somebody releases the thumb a function all should be executed uh, which plays the sound all over again and decreases the distance to the uh, to the uh, original uh, distance which was uh, five okay and then applying that distance to it through the filters property and resetting the width back to a 30 and that's all that there is to the script which is available as a free download from my website qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads all right people in the uh, next part i'm, I'm going to explain you how did i actually replace the sum uh, that flash gives us with my own sum how did i draw it out how did i apply the uh, bevel filter how did i change the tick let me explain what tick is okay this this these dots that you see are ticks i changed the color of the tick and pushed it upwards by five pixels how did i do that how did i draw out this uh <coughs> thumb you know and how did i actually implement it so we're going to look at all that in the next part uh this is uh, going to be very short really so people i hope and uh, i hope you learned something and enjoyed a lot from this tutorial and i hope you'll join me in the next part you have a good day guys bye bye peace